We're ready to go. Okay. Uh, today, the state government is announcing some additional uh, funding for some additional rewards to the resolution, which hopefully will lead to the resolution of some unresolved murders. And that uh, the importance of these rewards is that hopefully they will jog uh, some memories in people who may have witnessed something or heard something. It doesn't matter how small or insignificant, it's important that we get the additional information. And it's important because for two reasons. One, it's important that we want to get justice for the victim of the crime. And secondly, and just as importantly, we want to make sure that the victim's families get some peace of mind because in a lot of cases, in some cases, there are examples where the body has never been recovered. In those cases, it's very important that we locate those to enable the family to grieve and have some closure. So what we are saying today to the community, if you know of anything, it doesn't matter how small uh, it may be, it may help police to actually have that piece, additional piece of evidence to lead to a conviction. In some cases, police have, have some people of interest. In a lot of cases, just trying to find some additional information to corroborate, perhaps, the evidence they do hold. So that uh, it's very important that uh, if anyone holds some information, they come forward. We can uh, provide protection to people who provide information uh, and that uh, the, the Deputy Assistant Commissioner will go through that process for you. Okay, thank you. Previously, we had uh, 56 approved rewards that have been provided by the State Government. This initiative being launched today identifies further rewards and uh, we, we believe that those rewards will assist us to actually bring some of these old homicide cases to a closure. And it is important for us all to understand that South Australian police are committed to solving unsolved murders this has been evidenced by, in the fact that over the last two years um, our detectives at Major Crime Investigation Branch have had the ability to solve and apprehend four outstanding homicides which went back as far as 34 years ago and all of these matters are currently before the court. These rewards are important to investigators and to the community because they are involved in the gravest of crimes which are committed in the South Australian community and they are of high public interest. Police hope that the offer of these substantial rewards will encourage someone with intimate knowledge of an offence involving these homicides to come forward with that vital piece of information that we require to solve these crimes. And these offences and the, the um, apprehension of these offenders will assist those families involved. Over time, and we must acknowledge that over time, relationships between people, they may be the offenders, friends, associates, they change those relationships. And we believe that as a consequence of that time passing, that people may feel more comfortable in providing information to us now than they may have 30 or 40 years ago. In the last couple of years, we have had considerable success in apprehending people for unsolved crimes and, in particular, homicides. It is hoped that the offer of these rewards may produce further information that will lead to the identification of these offenders. Those responsible should take no comfort from the passing of time, as these cases will continually be investigated and will not be closed until an offender has been apprehended. Police are keen to bring about the resolution in these cases for the families and the wider community. That, that is our commitment to the South Australian community. These rewards reiterate our ongoing commitment to the families and to the broader community and should be a warning to those people who may be involved with these crimes that they should come forward themselves. Our appeal for new information remains continually constant. Thank you. Okay. Any questions? Um, how do you choose the amount that you offer? Like, for example, it's 200000 for 53. Why are those three particular murders higher at 500000 they're higher because if you acknowledge there's three different uh, levels, there's 200,000, 500,000 and a million. The one million relate to the child murders that have been, have been conducted and they, those rewards were offered last year. The 500,000 
rewards relate to the um, RMCG shootings which, which have occurred, and then the 200,000 relate to those homicides which have occurred, um, which haven't had as much public um, interest. From, from the aspect, while I say that, what I'm referring to is obviously the families of those matters are very concerned and we investigate with the same vigour as we investigate all crimes, but it's about the impact on the community and that's, that's the differential. And we also find that those matters which involve um, serious and organised crime are more, usually more complex. So that's another strategy to actually assist us to remove some of that complexity in the investigation. And when it comes to awarding this kind of money, are you ever concerned that it might end up in the hands of people who are pretty much criminals themselves and that's why they have knowledge of the crime? Unfortunately, that's highly likely. Uh, but what the aim of the police is, and for the general community, is to ac actually apprehend people and to solve these crimes. Sometimes that will occur, that we will have to pay money for, as a reward to people who may be closely associated um, to these offences, and they may have criminal um, histories themselves. But our focus is to solve the crime, to bring some peace to the families who have lost the, their loved ones and to the broader community. Is there like a caveat on it as well that uh, it has to be information that actually leads to an arrest? It's not just any bit of information. No, it's, it, if you, the, the wording of the reward is quite specific. It talks about conviction. Mm -hmm. So the information provided has to lead to the conviction. That's one aspect. However, the reward also can be um, provided to if we um, haven't located the victim's remains. Now, if someone was to provide information which led us to the discovery of the victim's remains, um, that, that would be quite appropriate and we would make a recommendation to government that a reward would be provided to that individual. How many rewards are you offering all up now? You said that you previously had 56 and then you've got this 53 plus 3 here. So, and I know that there are million dollar rewards that exist as well. So how many in total? There's a, it's in total from a dollar, um, a dollar perspective, 33.8 million is the, the rewards that we've got. Do you know how and, and it's 110 matters, so involving 119 victims. Okay. So yet, obviously on some matters there's more than one victim that's involved. So. 110 cases for... 119 victims. Um, and you said you've had success with these rewards in the past. Can you give an example of where, a recent example of where a reward has led to a conviction? No, I can't, and the reason I'm not, I don't intend on doing that, you, you could imagine that um, it's very important for us to keep the, the fact that what people have provided us for their own safety, um, uh, that information very close, and we will not provide information which identifies that a person has provided specific information that has led to the solving of a case in, in a particular case, because that may somehow identify that person, and we don't intend on doing that for their own safety. So before the list of their uh, recent cold cases that you charged people over, has that, have they mainly come about because of advances, say, in DNA technology and investigative procedures, or are they because people are actually coming forward? Both. There's certain information that's been provided to us by people involved in those, those matters, as well as DNA, as well as um, further opportunities because of... Uh, the professionalism of investigators today in comparison to 20 years ago, the, the, the opportunity to use every investigative tool that you have. Um, so there's a whole, lot of, there's a whole raft of reasons and, and there's not one reason as to why we've been successful in, to, in, in those investigations. And really that's what the reward today is all about, is to give us another tool which we can use for, to assist our investigators to solve some of these very old and complex homicides. Um, obviously we've got quite a list here. Are there any particular um, victims or incidents that you would like to raise publicly in particular that highlight out of that list? I think that to, to my way of thinking they're all important. Um, some, of the, some of the matters we do have um, some very good information on and we do have suspects for but we don't have that, that final bit of information which we need. Um, so I'm not going to uh, identify one against the other because that wouldn't be appropriate. But if anyone can provide information to us in relation to any of the unsolved uh, homicides, 
that would, that would be great and I think this is a real opportunity for the community to help us. Thank you. Anything else? That's it. That's